series of comparative gaming mat reviews. This time I'm going to be reviewing a gaming mat from FrontlineGaming.org. Uh, this is a, one of the biggest US companies that, that, that are making gaming mats. Uh, they have been so kind to deliver me a mat. And we're going to be testing it against a couple of uh, different tests. Uh, close-ups and reviews basically of the mat itself, of its qualities. So let's hit it off. So let's hit it off with the first test on the FAT mat. That's how Frontline Gaming calls their mats. F-A-T mat. Uh, these have been prepared in the cooperation with Table War. And uh, obviously the first test is unfolding, unrolling the map. Mat. Unfo unrolling the mat. And this mat has been like that uh, for 24 hours again. And uh, again, I'm gonna not mention it because it's quite cold in, in my room when I uh, when I come here, it's only gotten warm, so the rubber could keep its shape uh, while cold. Well, it's not that cold, it's 15 degrees, but you know, it's not a normal room temperature. Uh, so let's try to unroll it and see if, whoa, it's automatic. Let's see if it's gonna stay like that. Awesome, yep, it's nice and flat. There are no bubbles, nothing. The mat is, let me just align it on the table. Slightly. Right, so the mat is here. The mat is flat down on the table. And let's proceed to another test, which will be folding the mat. So in this test, what I'm gonna uh, simulate is, uh, imagine you want to bring your mat to your friends, but you don't want to carry a huge w uh, cardboard tube like so, like that one in the corner. Uh, so you will be folding the mat in your backpack. So the first test is just, Folding the edge, like so. I'm pushing as, a, as hard as I can. I'm just gonna hold it for a few seconds and seeing if it's gonna bend permanently. See, it's already disappearing. The mat is coming back to its shape. And there's a slight dent, but obviously nothing serious. Nope, I wouldn't call it a, uh, that something happened to the mat, let me just do it properly. Okay, and the next test is the, the next test. Forgot the T's in the words. The next test is folding it properly like so, because obviously you wouldn't be holding it in a, a very wide uh, sort of flat tube. You would be folding it in into a square, so like a shirt, right? So there would be corners. There would be corners that would be pushed by your books, by your army cases, by your books, by your lunch, bottles and other stuff that you would be carrying in your backpack or in your trunk. So, anything? Nothing. Perfect. So this mat passed this test with flying colors, in my opinion. There are no permanent marks on the mat. The material itself is, has not been damaged. And I'm pretty sure that this rubber is gonna come back to its state after I sort of roll it like that. Perfect, so nothing. Obviously, don't try to do it, because uh, the less strain you put your mat uh, to is, is, is better, and it's gonna serve you that longer. So, another test is the water-resistant test. In this one, I will be putting some water from my shot glass onto the surface of the mat and see how it behaves. Is it gonna sink in? Is it gonna stain the mat? Or is it just gonna stay on top and it will be easily removed? Uh, for this test, obviously, I've got my shot glass full of water and some paper towels. Simple, effective. Okay, so Matt, say hello to my wet friend. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. No, 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 no. No! My table is not flat, as you can see. And this mat just proved it. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> As you could see. <laughs> Hold on, let me just let me just play with it. <laughs> okay. In some other reviews, I'm not gonna say which ones, you have to watch them all. Some of these mats were water uh, how do you call it? Not waterproof, uh Waterophobic, liquidophobic. <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember how it's called because I'm so impressed by the 
uh, by this. Uh, but this mat just killed it. I mean, obviously, <laughs> you can see the drops. You can see the tiny, tiny drops over here that pulled. Okay, um, I need to put the camera down so I can clear out this water before it drops down on the floor and does damage to my carpet. So, <laughs> Christ, I didn't expect that. As you can see, this is not <laughs> this is not staged. I wasn't expecting this water to go. So, see, okay. L look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is just amazing. The water is just not going into the mat at all. Nothing. There's nothing left. I mean, obviously there, there are some t tiny little drop drops of water, but it's not wet or anything. I can I can feel it colder, but nothing nothing more than that. This, guys, this is amazing. The water resistance. I'm just gonna do it again because it looks so cool. And let's blow it. <laughs> okay, quick, 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 quick. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. I, I know I shouldn't. But I'm actually enjoying spilling water onto my mat. Well, onto Frontline Gaming's mat, but you know, it's mine now. <laughs> Christ, this is this is this is. I'm I'm impressed, guys. This was amazing. So I think the test is best in flying colors. Let's move on to the next one. As the name suggests, in the reflection test, we're going to be testing the reflections on the mat. So you can now view the mat from gamer's perspective, so from basically my eye level, and I'm pretty tall. As you can see, there are no reflections whatsoever on the mat from two lights that I've got. Well, actually four lights, but we can't see the other two, and they are very dispersed, uh, diffused, sorry, not dispersed. So the first light is something around 60 watts, and as you can see and imagine, it's not casting any gl uh, glares onto the onto the surface of the mat so this is cool and the other one is 400 watt light or what 400 watt it's very strong anyway as, and as you can see there is only a slight glare which doesn't really stop you from playing uh, the details are not uh, diluted and uh, I think it looks very good so if you're planning to do any battle reports on your mat, uh, take pictures, uh, obviously never use flash because whenever you take pictures and you use a flash, a small baby dies, so don't do that. Uh, just use proper light, like this one, like this one, or like this one, depending on how much uh, electricity you want to spend. Uh, so just don't use flash and you will be alright, like with any mat, I mean with any surface. Flash is banned on a DSLRs and proper cameras. So the test is passed, it looks awesome. So in this test, we're focusing on the thickness of the mat. And from what I see over here, and this mat is well cut uh, on, the, on the edges, nice and clean cut. Uh, the mat is two millimeters thick, I believe. Yes, it is two millimeters thick, and there's only a rubber surface and a cloth that has the print on. So there's not much to it. It's really soft. Uh, you can you can actually feel your fingers sort of giving in, well, the material giving in when you press it in. We're gonna test it a little bit more when we check the dice rolling sound and so on. Uh, but for now, this is good. Uh, one more thing that I noticed is that this mat is very slide proof obviously when I slide the whole thing it's not that bad but if, if you push on it like that it can't move so it's very good like a proper uh, mouse mat uh, additionally the material itself is also like very friction uh, creates a lot of friction when you try to hold it but you know why would you do that like that so just just something I noticed while doing this uh, while playing with this mat before the review so I think this test is passed the thickness is uh, thick enough to, to cushion your models, but not too thick to add, add uh, unnecessary weight for carrying. Uh, 
One more thing, this mat weighs around 2.7 kilos, as usual as the standard for all the mouse mat gaming mats. So, all good. And actually I got a little bit of a little bit of ahead of myself uh, because I started discussing the materials but again I'm just gonna remind you that only two materials used rubber and the surface uh, this mouse mat material works for all the companies uh, and you can hear me repeating myself in all the reviews but uh, unfortunately uh, this is how it is the material is great the idea of the material of using this material for gaming mats is awesome and uh, the, the only thing the companies need to worry about is the design and to grab you as a as a potential buyer by the amazing uh, designs layouts and uh, different options that you can uh, that you can get by buying these mats one thing that i would suggest these companies do is to consider maybe consider doing double sided mats like that because if you put it like so on the table it's still not a very it doesn't really go uh, slight on the table. Uh, maybe if you have a really like a nice, uh, soft and, and glossy kitchen table, maybe it will be worse. But to be honest, with this material, I would prefer to have a double-sided mat with plenty of cushioning for my models than a single-sided. But that's maybe me. Right. So in this test. Uh, as the name suggests, we're going to be testing the sound of the dice falling onto the mat. Right, the first test is going to be thro me throwing the dice at an angle. Listen. I've been saying that in other reviews, but I think my orcs will really enjoy these mats. Uh, or these dice that I'm actually throwing. I've thrown 10 dice and I've uh, managed to get 6, 5s and 6s. So it's an awesome result for my Oaks. Let's move on to the next test. Dice being thrown from the top, top to bottom, from above, straight above. Okay. Let me just do it again because uh, I managed to throw the dice into the buildings. See, it's nice. Again, plenty of sixes. <laughs> plenty of sixes. And um, one more test. As you can see, these, this mat is quite soft. So when you try to push your dice in, it actually goes in slightly. So the mat, even though it's uh, the mat, well, the mat itself as well, the mat, even though it's two millimeters thick, thick plus the fabric, uh, it allows the, the, mat, uh, the dice for some cushioning. So it's not gonna be, it's gonna be not as hard as my MDF over here. Uh, and I hate the sound of dice being thrown onto the MDF. It's very loud and you can't play in the evening when my kids are asleep or something. And my dogs get very frustrated when I throw the dice. So this is really, really cool. Let's focus on the design for a little while. Uh, as you can see, this mat is very colorful. That's uh, at first sight, I went, look, too many colors, I don't like it. But when I started putting my terrain on, it appeared that um, you can cover some of these areas that you don't like. Meaning, you can change the color scheme on the mat. Because as you can see, we've got some bright greens, we've got bright oranges. I'm not sure if my camera is uh, good enough to replicate the colors. Uh, you've got some yellow, orangey yellow, uh, orange again, just pure yellow, pure yellow here, again some oranges and yellows. So by carefully and strategically placing the terrain, you can change the color of the whole mat. If you place the, uh, your terrain somewhere here in the middle to cover the oranges over here, over here in the corner and the, the other corner, you've got it yellow, yellowy, green or yellowy. If you place it on, on the edges, you're gonna get orange matte, which is pretty cool. But the colors are not uh, not the only thing that's amazing in this, on this mat. Um, and this is actually the first time I'm seeing light effects on the mat, which is like, you know, you, you can see a red flare over here. Someone has been throwing these LED flares here, here, here. This one is burnt, so you know that this one was, was the first someone was running away. 
Uh, and it's only in one place. Oh, actually there's one more here, running away again. Um, so what I like about it is it's plenty of detail, plenty of little details everywhere. So we've got chevrons over here, we've got some tracks that are sort of a uh, little bit damaged, some buildings, uh, tiles. These tiles look a little bit like Space Hulk. It has a Space Hulk feel to it, I don't know why. But, you, you know, you've got a road, you've got all those things, uh, some newspapers, what, um, the drains, and so on. What I don't like, but it's with all the mats that I've been reviewing, is that the layering is a bit lazy, to be honest. You've got damage over here, and it's been, you know, sort of wiped out in Photoshop, and, um, and, um, and, it, and you can see that. I mean, if you worked in Photoshop a little bit, you know how it's been done, and since I've tried to do my own mat, I know how much effort it, it takes, uh, but nonetheless, it doesn't uh, break the immersion. It doesn't break the uh, great look of the mat. It looks still looks awesome, and it's to be honest, one of the most colorful mats I've seen over here, uh, except for the well, I'm not going to mention the name. You just go and see the other reviews. But there's one more company that that really color intensive mat, which is its uh, big bonus. Uh, this one is also full of color but the majority of it, of it is very toned down and very dark uh, blue browns uh, no blacks which is you know really good and you know there's no just black areas everything even the black road tarmac i think it's just a little bit of hue of blue so uh, yeah so plenty of damaged terrain uh, debris lying around and as you can see on the camera it probably looks like the, the, the mat is on you know the lights are on basically i hope it looks like that because the uh, 3d sort of uh, source lighting that they've done looks very impressive when you stand from the gamer's point of view and look on the mat so all in all i really enjoy it although i'm being very anal about those photoshop things and you know i'm i'm, I'm very picky for normal gameplay it doesn't matter at all so I'm just mentioning it because I thought I'm just gonna you know, give you the whole view and you can make up your own decision if you are bothered by that or not. You shouldn't be, because in normal gameplay you're not gonna be looking that close up onto the mat. It's just gonna be maybe from this distance. And um, the, the thing I also enjoy is that these newspapers, there's plenty of different designs of these newspapers and you really can't see the same design being replicated in one place. So we've got, oh, for instance, this pile of newspapers. Then it's uh, over here, and well, I can't see it. Can't see it. Oh, it's over there. So it's not that very close up. Sometimes uh, with some of the mats, people just take a chunk of the mat, rotate it, and put it next to it. Rotate it and put it next to it. Rotate it and put it next to it, and it just doesn't look good because it looks like it's been replicated. Well, with this one, uh, the elements look different and it's, there's plenty of stuff going on on this map. For some people it might be too much because you've got a track, you've got, you've, you've got the road over here, you've got some uh, yellow orangey ducts, you've got the green ducts like chem, chemical stuff, uh, you've got some siloses, rocket siloses, two of them opened, one closed, uh, another two closed, You've got a landing pad or whatever that is. I think it looks like a landing pad with a small ramp to something. Maybe the hatch it opens. Uh, then you've got the same one. Unfortunately, there's no access to the hatch, so you have to cross the street and you might get run over by a rhino or speeding by or something like that. But all in all, it's a very cool design, uh, very colorful, and brings life to your to your gameplay. So it adds to the feeling of the gameplay. It's completely different. Some of these mats uh, obviously uh, have individual designs because different people are designing them. So uh, you just make up your mind and pick one. That's it. The extra little thing that you get with the mat is this carry bag uh, that you can put the mat into. It has a zipper that you can uh, zip, zipper, zipper, the lock, zipper I think it's called, that uh, is uh, on both sides so you can sort of, the two ends 
uh, the two ends can meet in the middle. Uh, you can put the mat, it fits in it snugly. Uh, it allows you to sort of hold it like that. And the most cool thing about this, this is, is that if you buy more mats, this is what you get. You get a small design of the mat. Yes, you can see me with the camera over here. You can see the small design of the mat, so you can sort of, if you have it on your shelf, uh, it helps. And obviously you can sign it <laughs> for some reason. Uh, maybe if you go to, to a tournament and you, you are allowed to bring your own gaming mat, this would look cool. So you can see again, Frontline Gaming and Table War, two companies that sort of manufactured and worked hard on this mat. So this is the extra that you get with the mat. Right, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, if you enjoyed the product itself, if you enjoyed the company and you would like to know more, go and visit the links down below because there's plenty of links in there. Uh, a link to a particular mat that we are reviewing today, uh, to a, a link to the website, a, li a link to a ship shipping information and to basically links to all my uh, mediums like uh, Voxpot, Facebook and YouTube. So for any more reviews, uh, check out the links again below because this is one of the series of reviews. There are different mats being reviewed. Uh, go there and check it out. And subscribe, follow and like me on Facebook, YouTube and Blogspot or Blogspot uh, to check out more reviews, more battle reports and more vlogs from myself. See you, see you around.